What is up, my clan? Welcome to Monday, day 1102. And guess what? Guess what time it is? Dirt bike shopping for daddy. That's right, boys and girls. I threw it out there that when we hit 100,000 subscribers here on Clintus TV, I would go buy a dirt bike. And that is rapidly approaching. We're about three to four weeks away from that happening. It looks like it's gonna be right at the end of April, first of May, somewhere around there. Um, so I gotta figure out what bike I'm gonna get and where I'm gonna buy it from. So we're gonna hit up a couple of shops today and uh, sit on some bikes with Uncle Austin. Whoop whoop. So our first stop of the day, North Valley Motorsports. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I know, place, look uh, at that. Close. How is this one driven? Right out of the gate, guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, that's the one I want. Without even touching it, looking at it, nothing. The reviews are awesome. The color looks awesome. The graphics look awesome. Like, that is just a sick looking bike right there. The black wheels, OMG. This would be the alternative right here. This is the Honda. Equally is awesome, right? But uh, again, I just feel like the Kawasaki just looks so much better. So much, like, oh, yeah. Nice. But that, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. How do I look? Yeah, they just uh, huh? anodized uh, little aftermarkets on the sides. And what else would be? Ooh, getting excited, getting excited. What? So, Sticker price, 8699 just for So this is the this is the Honda CRF 450R, and this is this is basically the old bike that I had, guys. That got stolen out of my garage. I had a 2005. It was Austin's old bike, and uh, I just took it out of storage. It was in storage for like almost a year. Took it out, changed the oil, cleaned it all up. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go riding. And then it got stolen out of my garage. That video will be in the cards, eye in the sky, if you wanna watch that video. Apologize, there might be some swearing in there. That was before it was daily, before it was family friendly. So kids, you're being warned. I'd probably say the F word. But yeah, this bike's pretty sweet too. But after talking to Aaron here, uh, one of the guys that just kind of was talking to us, uh, that Kawasaki's got all kinds of awesome technology in it. That I'm kind of, I'm, I was already leaning to the Kawasaki already. Plus, he says the rebates are better than, than the Hondas. So it's looking like the Kawasaki might be my bike. Either way, man, I'm getting a dirt bike. I'm freaking excited. Kawasaki's got all kinds of cool technology. Love the color scheme. Love the black. Kind of interesting to put the white on the back with all the black going on. But I love this. Love this. Love the. Love this. Love the green anodized. I want to get more of that. I would put more of that everywhere. Anything that I could get green anodized, like the pegs, the chain, I would totally get that. Love it. This right here, guys, is what I shit about the kids all along back in the day. CRF 50. This is a true Pee Wee bike. Easy to ride. It's lower to the ground than even Bryce's 50. And it's, and it's bulletproof, man. This thing lasts forever. A major fail on my part buying those Chinese bikes, man. This is where it was at right here. That's what I should have bought. So if you're looking to buy a dirt bike, that's what you want to get. A Honda, to, a Honda 50, a, y, a Yamaha 50, a PW50, a RM50, any of the, the any name brand bikes. Spend the money. Trust me. And then another option I have also, this is a 450X. This is the, basically the same bike as this one, but it's the off-road edition. So if you notice subtle differences, right? It's got skid plates, it's got a light, it's got an electric start, it's got uh, a tail light, it's got a spark arrestor. So this is designed to be ridden off-road, not on a track. Suspension's gonna be lighter, the gears are gonna be probably uh, a little lower, a little taller. But I think this might be it, guys. We're gonna go to one more store to look at some other bikes and check prices and whatnot, but I'm really leaning towards a KX450. I love that. What do you think, Bryce? You think we should get mommy one of these? Yeah. She could follow us around. Or a quad. Or a quad? Well, I think this is more her style, just sitting here and driving. Right. Or should we get an orange one? Green. green orange? You know green should, we go, should we go team orange or team green? No, green. Team green, yeah! It's an 800 V twin. That'd be, that'd be pretty sick, dude. Check out this fossil 1975 XL350. Dual shocks. Look at that. It's a clean bike. Of course, while we're here, we, we're checking out the wares inside, looking at gear, boots, helmets. I've got all my old gear, but eventually I'm gonna wanna upgrade. Uh, and Bryce actually is growing out of his helmet. Uh, so they're trying on helmets as well. They're in you. Do I use mush cheeks? Uh, yeah, no, it's not as bad. She doesn't. No, that's a little too big. So you need a small, that's a medium. So they're into youth sizes, guys, or adult sizes. Bryce needs an extra small, and she needs a small. How crazy is that? That's how big our heads are. Bring back memories, bro? Uh-huh. 
you guys have any questions for me? All right, so we made our way down the street to Ride Now Power Sports here on Cape Creek Road. And uh, they have Yamahas and Suzukis, so the blue and the yellows. And the other place we were just at had reds and greens, Hondas and Kawasaki's. So we're gonna take a look at these and uh, do some comparisons. Thank you. Ooh, big showroom, big showroom. So this is the RMZ 450. If you like yellow, there you go. Shocks on just like that, dual valve. Same one. Bottom and top. Yep. It's got the, what, is that, what do they call that, launch control? Oh, uh, I knew bringing awesome might have been a mistake. He's, get, he's getting the feel for it again. You getting all tingly inside? Bring you back, bring you back. <laughs> Here's uh, Yamaha's version of the Pee Wee bike. This is the uh, TTR 50. Again, totally what I should have bought the kids the first time around. It's electric start, which is nice. They can start their own bike. Sit on that, dude. Now it's obviously too small, but back in the day, two, three years ago, it's that biting right there. All right guys, so we uh, stopped in here to grab a bite to eat at one of our favorite Mexican food restaurants, Valle Luna, and uh, we got, Sierra's got a cheese crisp with some beans, I've got shrimp fajitas, Austin's got shrimp fajitas, and Bryce is rocking a burro bravissimo, which is an amazing burrito, check this out. It's got sour cream, guacamole, and rice and beans, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eating good, eating good. So in regards to the dirt bike, I'm pretty confident that the KX450 is the bike that I'm gonna go with. Um, I really like that dealership that we went to the first time. Um, I do wanna go to one other dealership only because the second one we went to didn't have crap for selection. Um, I'm gonna go to another uh, right now Power Sports dealership just to look at the selection again and uh, look at the other bikes I wasn't able to look at. But I'm really leaning heavily on that KX450, guys. I think that's the one for me. It feels good, it looks good, sounds good. Now we just gotta hit 100K before I make the purchase. So this is my this is my plea to you guys. If you have a friend, you have a family that you think would like our content, you think they would like our videos, please share the, our link. Just tell them, hey, you know, you like the Shaytards? You should go check out Clinton TV. You like dirt bikes, you like adventurous videos, you like you know re, uh, uh, water parks and camping, go check out Clintus TV. You like reality TV? You should go check out Clintus TV. I'm not telling you to tell them to subscribe, I'm telling you to, them for, to come check out our videos. And if they like what they see, and they, feel, and, and they feel like they're gonna wanna come back and watch every day, then clicking that subscribe button will definitely help them out. Use the hashtag Clintus to 100 k on Twitter and Facebook and Tumblr, whatever posts you make. Share it on your social networks, and uh, let's get to that 100K mark so I can get my dirt bike. So what do you guys think? You guys think Daddy should get a dirt bike? Yes. You think that KX45 is the bike for me? Yes. No? What do you think? I want you to get a Suzuki or, uh, or a KTM. Why? I don't know. You don't know. You like the colors. Yeah. Yeah. That's not a good choice. It's not a good reason, is it? I have a lot of good reasons. But. Kawasaki's, yeah. they have good for the long legs, right? Yep. That's what I read. Yeah. So you guys excited though? You guys get pumped? Yeah. Basically, like in a month, I'll have a dirt bike. Is that cool? You will? Yeah. And this is where I'm going to end the vlog. Let me know in the comments down below. What's your favorite dirt bike? Do you have a, do you have a choice? Do you, do you have a preference? Uh, do you ride yourself? What bike do you have? I uh, really want to know. I'm really curious. Uh, like I said, I'm really, really leaning towards that Kawasaki. It felt good. It looked good. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. As always, if you like the vlog, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Tap the eye in the sky for your next video adventure. One year ago, we were pulling Bryce's teeth. Two years ago, I was practicing my handstands in the backyard. And three years ago, uh, Bryce was messing around, swinging his swords, acting like a Jedi. And Sierra was singing karaoke. Until tomorrow, vlog on.